Are you not entertained? The Colosseums are open. It's time to get smacked around by your fellow tarnished in the lands between. Today, we're going to go through how to unlock each Colosseum, the different combat ranks, and some tips and tricks for the Colosseums. Let's go. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do some like Colosseum PvP kind of content. I'm not much of a PvP -er, but I'm willing to give it a shot. So let's talk about how to unlock the Colosseums to begin with. Now, you only need to unlock them once. So even if you go into like New Game Plus, you'll still keep your access to the different combat formats and everything if you go into New Game Plus once you get the round table. But we'll start with the Limgrave Colosseum. This is the first Colosseum you'll access in Elden Ring. It's in Limgrave, obviously. And really to get here, you just head from like the Warmaster Shack and head up north and you'll get there on the edge of the cliff. You've probably seen this one before. The hardest one to get to is probably Kaelid. This one one is a little tricky to get to because it's like in that valley and you have to go through the Sophia River really to get there and you can get to the Sophia River from East Limgrave and then go all the way to the other end where the deep Sophia River deep well is and then go up that lift. You will need two Stonewood Sword keys to activate that lift and then that will take you to the like deep Sophia well area on the above ground which is like in the valley where the Kayla Coliseum is just be careful of the golems as they shoot arrows at you as you like go to reach the Coliseum the great jar will be there you just like go around him and you can go into the Coliseum the Lindell or the Royal Coliseum is the only other one and that's accessible in the Atlas Plateau at the Lindell Royal Capital itself from the West Capital Rampart you could just like walk along the ramparts and follow the stairs there are two jewelers guarding the entrance but once you get there you can activate the statue no worries now there are no side of graces at any of these coliseums which i think is a huge oversight by from software but once you have activated each one and you've unlocked the combat format you don't actually have to go back to the coliseum at the round table hole there is a marica statue kind of like the ones at the coliseums themselves and you can start all of your matches from here rather than having to go to the coliseums themselves to like start a match because you know if you don't want to actually just stay at the coliseums it's kind of annoying to have to go there every time if you wanted to do some pvp so it's good that they have put that option at the round table hold you can go there and like start any kind of match that you just like change the parameters and away you go so let's talk about those combat formats that you can participate in we'll start with the ones from the limgrave coliseum and then we'll get into some others so the first is the united combat united combat is unlocked from the limgrave coliseum in united combat two teams of fighters will clash the team with the highest eliminations at the end of the match wins and the standard format for this is that players are divided into two teams you're given 300 seconds to compete for the highest number of down enemies these matches can either be two four or six combatants so teams with one person on either side teams with two or teams with three the usage of the flask of crimson and cerulean tears is permitted but in limited numbers and the use of spirit ashes is prohibited these matches are pretty fun though in my own experience i have struggled to tell which player is which like which players on my team you can kind of tell by like their icon and obviously who you can actually lock on to but it is kind of difficult when there are like six players on the screen and everyone's just running around like a madman spamming abilities but it is actually a relatively fun combat format combat ordeal is unlocked at the limgrave coliseum as well and in combat ordeal fighters partake in a free-for-all match where every combatant is out for themselves the fighter with the highest eliminations at the end of the match wins and the standard format for the combat ordeal match uh, players are given 300 seconds to down as many opponents as possible within that time matches can contain either two four or six combatants same as the united combat the usage of flasks of crimson and cerulean are permitted but in limited number and the use of the spirit ashes is also prohibited now these matches are quite chaotic it is literally every man for themselves and if you're doing this with six combatants it's basically just like a spam fest of everyone spamming all of their abilities at each other to see who can you know just clip them and get like eliminations it's quite chaotic but it can be fun if you like some of that's just like complete chaotic pvp craziness but not really my cup of tea but there is a lot of shenanigans that can be had in this mode it does seem like and i would probably be looking at like either two or four combatants because six is just like too much to really you know do anything specific or try and like focus on you know improving your own gameplay it's just like an absolute chaotic fest where everyone's just like spamming abilities next is the jewel format the jewel format is unlocked at the lindau coliseum and jewels are matches where combatants fight one-on-one -on -one. and the standard match format here is that players will fight one-on-one -on -one for 180 seconds the use of the crimson tears is prohibited so you can't heal the use of the flask of cerulean tears is permitted but in limited number and the use of spirit ashes is prohibited these matches are probably my favorite i like just the general format of these there is 
absolutely like a custom in jewels, by the way, to like gesture before the match. So make sure you are doing that, you know, like actually being nice. I have found that some people don't do that and they literally just like run at you as you're like halfway through a gesture animation, which is kind of rude. But in the other matches like Combat Ordeal and United Combat, I've never seen anyone really gesture. Everyone just runs around and attacks each other like madness. So jewels are in general just like much shorter. It's 1v1. You know, you can really test your metal against someone else and see, you know, how good you are or how bad you are in my own case, really. But there's a lot of fun to be had in jewels I have found. Now, there is another format, which is the Spirit Ashes Allowed. Now, this is unlocked at the Kalid Coliseum. And essentially what this is, is it's not like its own match type. It is in a way, but it unlocks modifiers for all of the other match types to allow you to enable Spirit Ashes. So in things like United Combat, Combat Ordeal, and Jewel, once you've been to the Kalid Coliseum, the option will be able to enable Spirit Ashes Allowed so that in those matches, you can summon a Spirit Summon at least once in the match. So there, that little line in like the standard match format where it says the use of Spirit Ashes is prohibited, you just basically enable that and it won't actually be prohibited. It'll be permitted and you'll be able to do a Spirit Summon like in a duel or in any of those other matches. And in those like big six combatant combat or deals with Spirit Summons, it is like absolutely just chaotic but in jewels i think it's actually a fun little mechanic to enable spirit summons change up the pace a little bit do something a little different but you can actually change that there it's also worth noting that when you are in the like the pvp menu when you're deciding what to do at the top right where the different combat formats are there is a banner there and that's actually indicating your rank so like gray is like the default and then it will like kind of go into like metals like bronze to silver to gold as you progress i haven't seen anywhere if there's anything above gold but if you're looking to like wonder you know how you're doing or like if there is any kind of progression there that is the progression it doesn't seem like there's any rewards linked to this at least none that we are aware of at the moment i don't think there is because they would have told us in like the patch notes or anything but essentially it's just that ranking banner that you get there is no rewards for like even winning any of the matches either so whether you are dueling or whatever it may be if you win or lose you won't lose any of your souls or win anything for winning or win any souls which i think is a bit of an oversight like they could have at least given us like, you know, a thousand souls or something for like winning, just like for the winning players it would be nice to get something, right? Just a little bit of currency, you know, it doesn't hurt. Like we're, we're gonna, we can just go and farm all of the creatures in the world anyway. Like just give us, you know, a thousand runes or whatever. It can't be that bad, surely. That is basically everything you need to know about the Colosseum update themselves. They're the three match formats, how to unlock them and everything. And as mentioned earlier, once you're in new game plus or starting a new journey, once you have unlocked the round table hold on that next journey, you will unlock these combat formats again the marika statue will be at the round table holds you don't have to go to all of the coliseums every time which is so good because they are like in the middle of nowhere in some cases especially the kaylid one it's so frustrating to get to but that is all we need to know let me know if you would like me to do some more pvp content some like builds that kind of thing i'm kind of interested but it's not really my thing but i'm happy to spend some time and try and figure out some good builds for you guys to try if you are interested in that sort of stuff please let me know in the comments down below thank you for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day.